Hey guys, my name is Matthew, and this is my review of The Unbroken Thread, Discovering the Wisdom of Tradition in an Age of Chaos by Sharab Ahmari. Here we go. The Unbroken Thread is a book comparing the modern moral freedoms that are offered to us in a Western world to the moral structure offered to us by more traditional religions. And what I liked about this book, it dares to suggest that the latter has its advantages. In some ways, traditional religion may actually be superior for freedom. In this review, I'll be offering some of my observations of the book, and I'll be listing those roughly in order of things I liked the most, and then going down the list to some things that I didn't enjoy as much. To start with, I really enjoyed the 12 questions he offers and the structure of the book. Really, this book is a book that's structured in 12 moral questions. And the structure of it is such that he offers the moral question. He says this, these 12 questions are things that current Western thought, uh, kind of the liberal thought of the Western world, struggles to answer these questions. And oftentimes they're not even engaging at all. Engaging with the question, I mean. And so he offers these 12 moral questions and he gives some perspective from traditional religions, um, specifically through thinkers of the past. One of the things I really love is that he doesn't ever really fully answer those questions. Instead, he offers perspectives on the questions and then leaves the reader to be able to kind of answer them themselves. Some of my favorite questions he asks are things like, what is good about death? And this is a question that, again, uh, Western world has a hard time answering. Uh, most of the time we think of death as actually being an entirely negative thing. And that's a, a hard, hard question for the Western thought in general to answer. But uh, much of traditional religion actually gives us answers to this question. Uh, other questions I enjoyed, is sex a private matter? Or does God respect you? Another question is, why would God want you to take the day off? Something I really enjoyed about this book is that uh, Amari doesn't draw from a specific religion, but instead he's drawn from many different religions, many different thought cultures, different countries. Um, he's able to do this in part because of his own background. He grew up in Iran. Uh, I think he's a Shiite. I don't remember actually for sure. I think he was a Shiite growing up. Um, his wife is Chinese. He's converted to Catholicism later on in life. He immigrated to America. He's had the opportunity to um, interact with lots of different cultures, lots of different religions, and he's drawn from the thoughts of many historical figures in each of the questions. Specifically, he pulls out one historical figure, or sometimes two, um, to, an to help answer the questions that he poses um, and kind of brings in their intellectual thoughts from the past to be able to answer some of those questions. I liked the... Um, aura of the book. That's not quite the right word, but it's not an attacking book. This isn't a book that's saying, hey, Western thought is all wrong. We need to attack this, this, and this, and we need to fix these problems. It, it's not that type of a book at all. In fact, it has the feel of, of a book that's trying to reach across to maybe a progressive who is not entirely satisfied with, with some of the, the aspects of their life, and they're wondering, what else is there? What else can I look at? What other um, thoughts can I kind of pursue just to, just to kind of you know, get an idea of what's going on here. It's a lot of offering perspectives, and I think it's great to kind of lean across and be able to reach over to um, other people and help them to see different ideas. Another thing I really enjoyed about this book is just how well-researched it was. Um, I think so, much, so often a book like this where we're talking about religion, especially if you're religious in nature, can easily become a conversation that leads to, accidentally even, faith versus intellectual thought. Like those are opposed to each other. And sometimes they are, but in this case, I think Amari has done a great job of keeping the conversation intellectual and not making it a, a battle between faith and intellect, like those things are opposed to each other, but instead really, really doing a good job of, of bringing intellectual thought from across the centuries and being able to, yeah, just kind of meld those things into a wonderful intellectual conversation. I think that's one of the strengths of this book. A couple things I didn't like as much. The first one is that the conversation seemed to turn kind of political a little bit more often than I would have liked. Um, the premise was really, really good for me. I love this idea that freedom can happen, um, doesn't actually happen in a myriad of, of, of open choices, but actually happens in structure. And then sometimes this conversation turned political within the book in places I don't feel like it necessarily needed to. This could just be a me thing. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. And I know it's impossible to separate those ideas completely. When you start talking about intellectual thought and freedom and whatever else, it, those things all do kind of turn into political conversations a little bit. I just feel like sometimes it went 
went there when it didn't need to. And then here's one thing that I mentioned as a strength, but I'll also mention as a weakness. And it's not entirely the fault of the author because it is actually a strength of the book. But some of the questions, he, it felt like he went through um, this kind of argument or offering these perspectives, and then he didn't close out the argument. And in most of the time, that was really good for me. I enjoyed that. But there were some where he brought the argument almost to a close and then didn't close it. And that felt like very leading um, to me anyway. It felt like, hey, I'm, I'm going to bring you all the way to the end. And then I'm not going to tell you what I think. I'm going to leave you to make your own decision. But also, I pretty much already told you what I think. In that case, I think he should have either closed out those arguments maybe or left them more open by not giving us everything, if that makes sense. It just felt a little bit leading to me um, in some places. Now, before I give you a recommendation for this book, I do just want to point to the description below. We've got an Amazon affiliate link there. So if you do decide you want to buy this book, we'd love it if you used that link. It can be really, really helpful for us as a channel. For my recommendation, I really loved this book. It was intellectual and it has some really cool concepts in it. It did a really good job of marrying intellectual thought with faith. Um, the concepts, like I said, they're interesting and I got a lot of value from this book. I think anyone who's intrigued with this, by this idea of freedom coming from constraints, you'll actually really enjoy the read. But just do know that it's a very intellectual read. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this content, do feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there.